Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. So, as I've said on a few of my earlier videos that, you know, I didn't I didn't create this channel until about uh, two or three weeks ago. So, some of the content that I talk about are just things that I witnessed, saw during the season. But I think it's still in style because I see people still talking about it, right? So, should Tyler Van Dyke been gifted or given the starting quarterback job without an open competition this past offseason. Now, hypothetically speaking, if Tyler does return to the University of Miami going into the 2023 season, then yes, I do feel that the competition should be open, right? Who is open to? Tyler and whoever else, uh, Jakari, Emery Williams, and whoever else they may bring in, or if Jake toughs it out right but i just think it's absolutely ridiculous for and again i i know who it is it's it's tyler has his detractors right and that that list seemingly has grown but as i've said that some people just do the the the, the sheep mentality right um some of the people obviously have changed stance because some of the rollover is from individuals who wouldn't have thought twice about saying going into spring of last year, Tyler should have been in any type of open competition with Jake Garcia or Ja'Kari Brown. Nobody would nobody would have said that. You had a few detractors, right? Because you had some people that felt that, hey, well, Jake was never given a fair shot because he was injured. And many people feel like, depending on where you got your information from, Jake may have actually overtaken Tyler in somewhere some somewhere in there right but the reality of the situation is this right competition is not always about swapping out who gets first team reps right i think about a story that i heard aj mccarran have i think he was i don't know if i heard it on a fine bomb show or if it was no i know what it was I don't know who I don't know who Alabama was playing, but it was one of those specials. And I think AJ McCarron was sitting in the weight room, and they were interviewing him. And he said he remembered that what Nick Saban did to what what Nick Saban did. Nick Saban would put him on the third string against the first team defense. And he talked about in a paraphrasing how he didn't understand why would you why are you doing this to me? Like I can't show you how good of a quarterback I am. If I'm not working with pieces around me, right, I'm, I'm working with the third stringers, the walk-ons, and you got me going up against, you know, probably at that time, a very vintage Alabama defense. You know, I think, yeah, Kirby Smart was still there, so vintage Alabama defense. How can I How can I get over that? And what he was saying is that Nick was just seeing what type of competitor he was because you're taking sacks. You know, you got to process things a lot faster. That's competition, right? It's not about... Now, if I don't know what the I don't know what the pecking order was, I don't know how Coach Ponce and Coach Gaddis or even how Coach Mario went about. <clears throat> excuse me, during the spring, when after the viewing session was over, I don't know how they went about or during fall camp how they went about trying to uh, see what Tyler was made of. I I don't know, right? But this notion that it should have been an open competition just because you have a, a new coach. It's just I, I I don't I don't get it I I don't know where this I don't know where this is coming from now of course Tyler was a a sophomore last year so by all by so by all intents and purposes yes he had things that he needed to work on as does all the other quarterbacks that were sophomores last year or redshirt freshmen right uh, Bryce Young even though he won the Heisman had things he needed to work on. C.J. Stroud, things he needs to work on. Hartman, things he needs to work on. Even the quarterbacks that got drafted last year, they still, once they left college, they still had things they needed to work on. But I, I don't feel Tyler had so much to work on to the point that y'all felt that it warranted an open competition and are basically challenging the validity of whether or not he actually was the best quarterback or is the best quarterback on the roster. Now, again, everybody has a different understanding of what they look at as being best right um another silly notion tyler's not mobile 
I don't see too many non-mobile quarterbacks doing what Tyler did last year against Virginia, taking it up the right sideline for a thirty-yard touchdown. He's not Jakari Brown, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't think that Jake. Um, and this is no slight to Jake, but I don't think Jake is just that much better of an athlete than what Tyler Van Dyke was. I just, I just don't think it. Maybe before Jake had the injuries, maybe he could have edged Tyler out. But Tyler was an athlete. Tyler is an athlete, right? But. But, again, like I said, hypothetically speaking, if he does stay at UM and they want to have an open competition uh, this offseason, hey, I'm all for it because it's warranted, right? We don't know. Like I said, I, I made a video a while back where I feel like he and Jake, the confidence is somewhat is, is shaking, even though I felt that Jake, well, I could even say that for Tyler because even on that first drive before he threw the interception, before he subsequently got hurt, I think Tyler was showing some moxie, some poise about himself, and I think Jake did the same thing. But I still do not see that quarterback, right? And the thing is this, right? Um, there's so many body language experts out here, man, so many body language experts. Uh, Tyler's not a leader. Tyler's not this. Tyler's not that. Leadership comes in many different forms. Leadership is not all about going over and necessarily – rah rah and, and 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 doing that you don't have to give an ed reed speech all the time everybody everyone doesn't lead that way some guys lead by example some guys are just maybe make some eye contact and say hey guys we got that right the camera's not picking that up the camera's not picking up tyler may be just making a short walk down the sideline talking you know saying to the receivers or to the o-line hey guys we got it and going to sit back down no, but what does the camera pick up? The camera picks up the guy that's over there being overly emotional. Now, we look at that as leadership. In some, in some, in some instances, that is leadership, right? But that doesn't mean that it's going to yield better results. So I just think, I just, I, this is what, this is a prime example of what Big Groove tweeted about, about how, and I don't, and, and again, I, I don't, uh, I'm not going to say I agree or disagree about whether he should have put that out there on social media, but I mean, it's just, it is what it is at the end of the day. If the shoe fits, you got to wear it. But just the turn on, on, on Tyler, right? Just, I mean, just, just the turn on him. And, but you know, this is not nothing. I mean, this is not nothing new. Um, his fan base turned on Brad Kaya. It turned on Malik Rozier, turned on Ja'Cory Harris, turned on Stephen Morris, right? So we, so, and I'm again, I'm I'm in this because I've I've turned on some quarterbacks too. I, you know, I I turned on Malik, right? Um, I turned on Brad for the simple fact that I felt due to the condition of the offensive line, we do need a more mobile quarterback, right? But you know, we just. We turn on guys, right? So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not surprised by it, but I just think that Tyler, kind of in that mold of Brad, we finally felt like something that has been plaguing us, right? We've been looking for a quarterback. We were looking for Brad Kaya. We have been looking for a Brad Kaya type of quarterback since Ken Dorsey left the building. Think about that. Ken Dorsey left in 2002. We didn't get a. Uh, um, and we could say Brock Berlin, you know, did that, but he was he was a Gator first. But we're talking about a homegrown guy that signed on the dotted line, the original, you know, his original commitment. We've been looking for that guy since Ken Dorsey. And Brad Kaya was that guy, even though I like Ja'Cory Harris. But, you know, it, you know it is what it is. But we have been looking for that guy. And so we finally got it. We got a guy in Tyler who's big, who can make all the same throws that Brad can do and has a little mobility, and we've turned on him, right? And, but again, like I said, if, if he's still here next year, I'm going to I'm gonna cheer for him, and if it is an open competition, hopefully he can regain some of his confidence back. Hopefully we can um, use what we have if we pick up some guys in the portal to catch the ball or, you know, offensive linemen and stuff. Hopefully we're in a position that we can protect him and any other quarterback that does take snaps this upcoming year. But as always, like, share, subscribe. It's all about the you, even when we turn on our quarterbacks.